It's always a very exciting time when Claude releases a new model and we have access to it and we're going to be testing it in Claude code today. So if I do slash models here, this is just Claude code. I'm on my MacBook. I'm on holiday. Well, I'm not on holiday. I'm visiting family in England. And yeah, let's give this a whirl. So we're going to be using our kind of normal benchmark for this video. So the first stage of this benchmark is to create a new Next.js app. So we'll just put a full stop here and we'll say yes. And then we'll just press enter a few times and then that will install the app. And then if we go back onto my school community, which you can join first link in the description of this video, we're just going to grab the uh, prompt that we're going to be using in this video. So I'll just copy that. You can find it for free on the internet as well. You don't have to pay, but you will have to look around a little bit for it. So then we write Claude here and then we paste the prompt. But just before we start, we need some images. Okay, so inside let's test 4.1. Sorry about this kind of confusing screen you might be seeing here, but we're going to paste public. I'm not used to using Macs, just so you know, guys. I haven't used a Mac in ages. Now, that should be correct. Everything should be good to go. And we're going to test Claude 4.1 Opus right here, right now. So I'm going to hit enter here. This is a prompt that you will have seen if you've seen my channel before. I use this prompt all the time. Sorry if there's a little bit of background noise, guys. I'm not in my full uh, normal setup. So we'll see how this does. This is 4.1 and let's have a little look at the actual update. So let's go on Google here and we'll type Opus 4.1. It's crazy to me that Apple hasn't come out with their own search engine, you know. They really should do that. Today we're releasing Opus 4.1 and upgrades called Opus 4 on agentic tasks, real world, world coding and reasoning. If that's true, we're in for a fucking good time, boys. I'm just going to tell you that right now. If this is actually true and it's better and it's as good as four on like opus four when it was first released i'm telling you right now this next week you guys need to be making your projects right now before the model gets worse this is the best time to make something using claude okay i highly recommend right here right now get on with it because for the next week this model is going to just be absolutely crazy it's just going to be insane. So definitely hop on it while it's still in its infancy because obviously there's a history of models getting worse. This is what I did with Opus. I managed to build an entire project, um, seogrove.ai, which is now launched. You can join the waiting list by just clicking join waiting list at the top here. It's, an S it's a Shopify SEO AI agent agentic tool. And I made it doing the same thing. As soon as they released Claude for Opus, I just went absolutely crazy while it was still the best model by far. Now, I haven't introduced this to this particular benchmark that I do. But if you do want to build a website like this, like a service-based website, I really, really recommend using the Playwright MCP. What that basically allows it to do is it allows it to run itself and make sure that everything is working properly. The reason I'm not doing that in this video is because this is a benchmark, but that is what I would normally, 99% of the time now, I would have the project set up in Docker, I would have the project running it itself, right, using Docker commands, and I would be using the Playwright MCP to ensure that things look and JavaScript is processing and CSS is processing properly and everything is working but because this is a benchmark just to see the intelligence like the base intelligence of the model and like how good it is with for example ui ux design i'm not going to be using them in this video also sorry if i sound absolutely knackered guys i've been um yeah helping out at home and it's 22 11 which isn't that late but yeah i'm feeling pretty tired i'm not gonna lie but i really really wanted to make a video about this because anthropic is my boy I love Anthropic. I love Opus. I love Claude Code. I'm a real Anthropic fanboy. So every time they do an update, like probably ChatGPT will be releasing something tomorrow. I don't know if you guys will see a video from me. I'm just not I'm not bothered about OpenAI. Okay, so Opus 4.1 is now done. It's completely built. It's built everything it says. So let's try this out. So what I like to do is I you can just exit out here and do code dot, or it should be able to, no. 
Okay, so without any kind of bias or anything, let's go to terminal here, do npm run dev. I might need to run npm install. Looks like I don't. Let's open it up and let's see. Okay. Wow. That is, that is very, very, very well done. That is very well done. Wow. Uh -huh. The quality here is incredible. Wow. Wow. This is, yeah, everything is working. This is a huge improvement. Holy fuck. Guys, build your apps now. <laughs> if you're watching to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend, but also go and build whatever you've wanted to build right now with Claude Code using the Max Plan $200 plan. This is crazy. This is such good quality. Every single page works perfectly. Didn't even use Playwright. I didn't use Play. Oh, okay, that didn't work, but pretty much everything works. I didn't use Playwright, didn't use anything. It just built it just from its knowledge. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said before, if you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.